So today's video is a bit short. It's a retake of a video that I already did, but I was, while editing, just like, it's not that good. I'm rambling a lot. I've actually, you can see I've got pretty far through, through it, uh, but it was just really bad. So I'm doing a retake on that video right now. So what I wanted to talk about in that video was why I picked DigitalOcean, what are the pros and cons of picking DigitalOcean, and, and how do I like using DigitalOcean? Because now I've been using it for almost a year, so I have some opinions about it, and I wanted to share those with you guys. So my main like con with DigitalOcean is the price. It's $18 a month for a server with 3 gigabytes of RAM and 60 gigabytes of disk space. Yes, it, it might be you know, overkill for just a website. You know, I certainly could have developed this in a more easy way, but I didn't know so much about full stack development at the time. And so I decided, you know, the easiest route would just be to, you know, learn Docker and uh, deployment pipelines and um, Docker swarms. And uh, it was not the easiest way. I don't know why I over-engineered Vincent Lab so much. Like it was pretty much, it was extra, it's extremely over-engineered. I will say I did over-engineer so much and it was so much waste of time. But right now when I'm adding some code to Vincent Lab, it goes so fast. So I don't know, maybe it's a pro or con. But let's get back to DigitalOcean. The pricing is my main issue with it. And the and the thing I like about DigitalOcean is that you are able to create a full computer. So a straight up server and you can do whatever you want with it. So if you look at platforms like Now and Firebase, there's a lot of these platforms where you can provide a config file and your code and then they will host it for you and, and it will be cheaper of course because you're running less code but if that infrastructure goes down you really have an issue so that is the reason why i like hosting my code as simple as it can be by just having a server running in Nginx because I have the control and I want to have the control. And I totally understand people that are like, this project, I don't want to have the control. I don't want to have to deal with it because it is more work. It does cost more money. But in the end, I have the full control over Vincent Lab. And if, if I want to change just the smallest thing, I can do that. I am not relying on any infrastructure other than DigitalOcean, but I could easily move from DigitalOcean to convert it to a self-hosted server or any other platform that hosts a computer. Where if you have developed all of your code for Google Cloud Functions, you are set. You are only doing Google Cloud Functions or rewriting your entire infrastructure. So, so that is, I guess, a pro of using DigitalOcean and other platforms where you just have a computer. And the last thing I want to say, and the main reason why I made this video, is that if you want to support me, I have an affiliate link to DigitalOcean. And if you want a video on how to actually make a droplet on DigitalOcean and how I set up my server, comment down below, like the video, and I will do a video on that. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.